let's begin running your own minecraft servers can be rewarding experience with time you can build your own community of uh, loyal players and which has the potential to grow into a multiplayer platform so although it sounds complicated but it's not as hard as you imagine it just needs some technical knowledge you can set up the servers running your own servers keep you complete creative control like hundreds of modifications and multiplayer experience which are beyond simple just like the vanilla minecraft vanilla minecraft survival this is what has made the minecraft multiplayer servers so much popular among the gamers now let's see how to start your own server first step will be to decide on a server theme and choose a hosting provider there are plenty to choose like the factions which is a good hosting the factions is a good plugin by massive craft and the prison and the prison is also a good server each gameplay themes uh, brings you a completely a different dynamic to the game but probably choose the one which you have in your mind or which you have experience with you have done that the next step is to choose a hosting provider you can set up a server on your computer but this is not feasible if you want to have a public server online 24/7 in addition hosting a server needs you a fair amount of technical knowledge and it is much easier that's why to go with the hosting provider there are plenty of servers you can use for minecraft but let's use the nitrous network which is the best one it is a uk based company and you are free to use any provider but nitrous network has got good ratings and also their prices are reasonable this is how its uh, layout looks like there are many other games too which you can uh, host the server from nitrous network and there are other servers like the survival the serenity the rocks and the host havoc you are free to choose any one but as the nitrous network has got the good ratings second step is setting up the network when you have paid for the network navigate to your server's control panel and this is how it looks like just press the start button and uh, your server will fire up preparing your spawn area it will take 10 to 20 seconds and when the message is stop it's ready to use and in to join your servers just navigate to your minecraft game client and directly connect your server's ip address that's it simple you have now created your own network although you may server will be very plain it is referred to as vanilla minecraft third step is installing a bucket or a spigot we recommend you installing a minecraft developer api mod such as the bucket or the spigot these are the two most popular minecraft server modifications providing additional functionality and control to the minecraft servers and they allow you to plug in the additional minecraft server modifications called as the plugins such as the factions plugin or the tony plugin installing these are very simple the control panel go to the mod part packs and choose either the bucket or you can choose the spigot and then simply install the plugin uh, and at this stage is doesn't make much difference which one you choose but the spigot is has the additional functionality and is further opti optimized to support the larger servers which can pull in hundreds and hundreds of players for your community fourth step is making yourself an op fourth step is making an op as is in short form for operator they are the administrator on minecraft servers these people have uh, access to the additional commands like the kick or ban or give or slash fly as a server owner you want to be 
the admin because that's the top level of administration giving you the operator the privileges only to yourself and the one who you trust make yourself an op you need to first navigate to your server control panel and then type op and then type op and the name in the input box replacing your name with the minecraft name in the future you can type slash op name with your actual servers to make the additional people the operators but for the first time it must be done on the console so remember that the fifth and the final step is installing the plugins the plugin brings your server alive and therefore there are thousands of them so which plugin suits you you need to just install and play them around to know the best plugin this navigate to your plugins and begin reading about them and install the plugin display a message and you're joined to the server in the plugin search bar type the welcome message and install the very first one press the view button and then install the plugin after installing just go to manage and then restart your server this is very user friendly and then you need to just simply configure it which is easy to access the plugin navigate to your plugin folders and under file manager tap open the plugin unique folder which is usually the name of the plugin and then click on the edit button next to the config.yml file and follow the instructions it's it, that's it your plugin has been administered so what six step what's next so now your server has been ready congratulations just go with the flow and play around with few plugins and learn to run by running a server and figure out which one suits you better some minecraft's biggest servers pull in thousands of players every month and if you create a community which appeals to the general minecraft community and soon build a name for yourself that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the video thanks for watching have a good day take care bye yeah.